everyone, this is Kylie from The Curly Crafter. Make sure you have all your paintbrushes ready because we're getting ready to get crafting. Today I'm here to show you some fake non-edible Easter foods including fake peeps. Aren't they so adorable? Just to kick it off, we are starting with this super realistic carrot cake. First things first, I had to stop by my good old Dollar Tree and get some foam circles. And I got some big tubes of spackling at Home Depot. They were like $20 for a bigger thing. And I took some baking supplies because of course I am making fake food. And how do you make fake food without baking supplies? I don't think you can. But I took some spackling and I took this antique parchment paint and added a little bit of coloring to my spackling so it doesn't look super white. It looks more of like a cream color. And then I stuck the foam circles together with the spackling and took the rest of my spackling and kind of smeared it around my foam circles just like if I was going to add frosting onto a cake. adding the frosting on the top layer of the cake, like on the top of the cake itself, instead of doing the sides. But instead I did the sides first, it just made it a little bit more difficult. It's still possible though. Once you have the top completely covered, I also took some of this corn cob bedding that I got at a pet store. It looks just like peanuts and I use it for all my fake food crafts that have peanuts. And then needless to say, I just put my extra spackling in a piping bag and piped on designs around the borders of my carrot cakes and did little dollops of whipped cream on the top and took one of these wired yarn carrots that I got at Dollar Tree and placed them on the center of my dollops of whipped cream. Next thing I did was I made the super realistic bunny ice cream cone. What I used is I took some Model Magic Clay to make some fondant bunny ears. This is Model Magic Clay and I just rolled it out and took a piece of paper and cut out the shape of bunny ears. And then I took a toothpick and ran the toothpick on the Model Magic to create the outer edge of my bunny ears and just cut it out with a pair of shears. After the bunny ears were cut out, I rolled them down to flatten them a tiny bit and I compressed them together. Next up, I'm going to make the pink inner part of my bunny ears. What I did is I took some more spackling and I took some princess pink paint to make this light, beautiful, airy pink color for the inside of my bunny ears that look just like frosting. I'm trying to represent the types of sugar cookies that you'll find at like Walmart, you know, the ones that are like really doughy types of sugar cookies and to make this look more like frosting and or ice cream I added flour to it to get it a better texture this texture looks extremely like ice cream I mean how does it not but in order to make it in the shape of ice cream I took a ice cream scoop with a handle part that will push the ice cream out if you don't have this type of scoop it, your ice cream will not come together it will won't come out of the ice cream scoop without something pushing it out but when I do this I like to make rugged edges along my scoop so that it will give it more definition when I take the ice cream out of the scoop to the bunny ears with the rest of my ice cream mixture I just added some frosting onto the ears so it'll look more finished frosting that I used on top of my carrot cake but this time I am making this frosting to add whipped cream onto my ice cream scoop. This frosting helped me attach sprinkles easier to this and it also helped me attach my sugar cookie bunny ears to the top of my ice cream. I thought these bunny ears just completed this ice cream. It is the perfect little bunny Easter ice cream. And then after I made the ice cream, I took a piece of foam, a foam cone from Dollar Tree and took these different brown shades and mixed them together so that I would be able to make a really cool cone color. 
I got bored of waiting, so of course I had to try one of my Neapolitan ice creams. I will be giving you a little hint here that I am going to be making fake Neapolitan ice cream bars this summer, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Now I'm taking my hot glue gun and making lines on my ice cream cone to give it more definition and look and feel more like an ice cream cone. And then I just went back and did another layer of paint to cover the glue. And then I made some vanilla ice cream the same way that I made the strawberry ice cream for my bunny. And then I just took the top bunny piece that I made and put it on top of my vanilla scoop to make this really cool strawberry vanilla bunny ice cream cone. For my next craft, I'm taking more of my Model Magic. I actually bought this container specifically at Hobby Lobby for like $20, $20 to $25. It came with four nice packages. I mean, this to say, I rolled out this clay and took these peep cookie cutters that I used in a previous video that I purchased on Amazon, and I just cut out the shapes of peeps and rolled them flatter than they initially were to get these beautiful peep shapes that I thought looked just like peeps. Now it's time to paint. I'm taking this lilac mist paint from Apple Barrel, as long as this blue cotton with this sunny day paint and along with this drum roll please pink parfart parf i can't say that right but just just leave that out needless to say i'm taking these paints and painting my peeps i thought these colors looked just like peeps at least in my eyes they look just like peeps of course these colors look a little bit different on camera and this is a bit harder to paint with a camera in front of my face, then it will be easier for you guys to do all these crafts as well. For some reason, this lilac mist paint that I got from Apple Barrel is more runny or more see-through, you can say, and it took me like twice the amount of coats that it took me with the other ones and I only really needed one coat for this blue peep. I don't know why but let me know if your guys' paint was as thin as mine or as thick as mine. I don't really know what the cause is for this but it still worked out needless to say. To speed up my drying process again I am using my heat gun. And to apply the faces on my peeps, I'm using this burnt umber paint from Apple Barrel. Once the faces were applied on my peeps, I took them outside and sprayed them with the spray gloss Mod Podge. Obviously, this is exceptional. It does not really change anything. It just makes them look more glossy and I think it gives it a more of a sugary look in my opinion. And there it is. These are my three different fake food recipe ideas, crafts you could say. But I hope you guys enjoyed these and if you do I have a lot more fake food and a lot more crafts coming up in the future. Make sure you subscribe and bye everyone!